today we are going to test actually I wanted to say the GTX 1660 but it, today is not the about the GTX 1660 it's about the i7 6 gen because uh, yeah I have this computer kept on the side because I had some problems with it but Nevertheless, I got back. I have a couple of CPUs that I want to test in the future and I need this computer to be up and running with everything updated. So today we're going to take a look on this uh, i7 6 gen and going to see how it's running with uh, this GTX 1660 because I have a couple of RTX GPUs. I want to see when this GPU is uh, going to bottleneck or uh, the CPU is going to bottleneck. I, I don't know which one. You know, either the CPU, either the GPU, who knows. We're in with Cyberpunk. Apparently, we need to see how it's working because uh, I got lots of cores and uh, actually it doesn't have only four cores, but CPU. But I'm curious after the optimization, after so many updates, how this i7 6 Gen is holding the game, you know. And 1660 is not a bad GPU because it's got six gig of VRAM. So theoretically, they need to balance each other you know so let's see how it's running okay so first off i'm on the lowest resolution i think and uh look at that the cpu is nearly full holy <laughs> the gpu has no problem apparently but in cyberpunk the cpu is all right let's uh let's max out the the settings here because apparently we need 1080p in order to to have fun with this game and we're gonna start uh, start with uh, lowest settings and we're gonna go up and see how we are going to adjust everything we got uh, uh, fidelity fx super resolution and uh, fsr 2.1 sharpening that is exactly how we put on low details i didn't change nothing here because it's a low preset so all right look at this look at this, how freaking awesome it is oh so from 50 percent on the gpu because of the resolution now it's on 88 percent on the gpu score memory usage 48 percent that's really nice so it's using 3 gig of vram kind of interesting to see this old mammoth cpu but uh, it's on the edge of being freaking awesome because i remember playing it with an rtx video card and enabling rtx options will do the job like uh, fantastic you know it, there is no question that i will put an rtx in the near future with the system again because uh, it's a good cpu and there's a lot of options for 6th gen seriously let's put it on to ultra performance apply all right let's see how we're doing now I can see I can see that blurriness from the uh, ultra performance settings but uh, nothing on the performance wise the only thing it's it's good is the GPU look if uh, 50% on the core on the GPU that's it but the CPU is still nearly the same okay actually it's averaging just a little lower because I've, I, I seen a couple of uh, I seen a couple of uh, uh, cores that were reaching maximum like 90 like actually still reaching 90 percent and that's not okay but one thing that is gone is the spikes from the frame time you can know ah it's still there let's jump in G gta 5 because uh, gta 5 i uh, have a little history with it so let's take a look and see how the settings are 1080p directx 11 fxa i'm gonna put actually i'm gonna keep that one and try to max out the game as maximum as possible back in the days when i was uh, 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 doing videos and streaming i had a problem with this computer because i had uh, some kick-ass gpus uh, in my hand like an rtx uh, 30 series you know and uh, the cpu was bottlenecking you know so i, I hated this I hated the CPU in GTA 5 and I was wondering what happened with GTA 5 now is it, is it fixed or I don't know you know I want to see how GTA 5 is working now with this i7 6 gen I hated the CPU because it what do you mean it's bottlenecking just from this run because it's my best GPU my best CPU ever you know why is it bottlenecking with the 30 series I had no clue <laughs> <laughs> but now with the um, 1660 i can actually see the true colors of this uh, 
uh, CPU. Okay, so how many FPS do we get on maximum details? We are going to average at a whole 60 FPS. One, <laughs> seriously, because the GPU is good, the CPU apparently needs to be good. It's not no core is uh, fully loaded. So yeah, we should be on the green screen, green side of the FPS. But apparently, I have a problem. I have too many details, but I don't know which one is loaded. The VRAM. All right, I want, I'm gonna take a look and see how we can fix that. Because it's 71% of the VRAM. And I'm guessing because of fully loaded VRAM, it's gonna be really harsh. Okay, so let's park the car. I got a Bentley there. I don't think I can win the car, but uh, regardless, I got like 40, 50 FPS. Me, 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 off in order for our game to gain more FPS. So DirectX 11, maybe we can turn FXA. Um, popularity density. Maybe, let's say, let's start with this one and we'll see. Maybe it's lowering. No, 50%. Looks very sharp. Really, really nice. Oh my God, it looks so good. Ah, oh, this is how it needs to be played in this game. Seriously, I'm not gonna lie. Motion blur, ambient collision, distillation. How are we doing? 56, 60 FPS. Theoretically, it should be on 60 FPS. If it's averaging on 60 FPS, then you're golden, you know? So, even. Oh, look at that. So, on GPU load, apparently, it's uh, lower now. now 40%. Oh, that's really nice. So, I will lower everything on normal, I will keep everything on normal, and I will use the system like this. You know, so it, there's no point on actually using the course like that. What it needs for speed? I want to see how this game is working. Let's uh, see the settings because uh, this is going to be interesting to see how the game is performing. Which, uh, what the f Likes motion blur, seriously. 1080p, VSync is on, dynamic resolution scaling, it's off. Graphics, auto, we're going to put it on, long VSync off. 76 fps it's actually doing the job here the system seriously i'm surprised about this you know because i remember last time we i said uh, we need to test uh, other system and that's it We got more air than Jordan. Damn, that's it. Okay, third time the charm. All right, I'm actually impressed how the game is performing in uh, in this setup. Seriously, disregarding the fact that I'm on low details, the GPU is on ninety percent, and uh, yeah, it's, it's freaking awesome. You know how uh, the whole thing was doing. A, an awesome average you know and the cpu can hold the game the gpu can hold the game it's got enough uh, vram so you can put uh, maybe more details but the moment you put more details so you can feed up that uh, it, so you can feed the vram i think you're gonna bottle the the gpu even more now it's sitting there on 90 93 percent and it's ideal with uh, with this game i freaking love how it looks even on low details and I don't need more because it's bananas. This game is bananas, seriously. So I really love it with uh, with all the hardware. So yes, uh, new Need for Speed with this i7 6th gen and 1660. Yeah, it's a go. Let's jump in Fortnite. I think, I think, <laughs> I think this is going to be interesting, seriously. Uh, because uh, there's a couple of things that are uh, changed. Apparently, the performance mode, now it's here. So, we want to take a look and see how the game is performing with performance mode. Because this is what I want. You know, uh, at the moment, I'm recording uh, with uh, the most generic uh, Elgato. But uh, sometimes, I can, I can enable more FPS. And uh, I would really like to have... A as much as possible you know so yeah 
um, let's see how it runs in performance mode, in low details, and uh, yeah, that, that's, this is the only thing that matters in Fortnite. Ah, I don't want to play with ray tracing. Not default player. All right. Thanks for telling me he's a bot. Alright, actually surprised. I'm actually surprised how the CPU is holding. The GPU has no problem, but uh, the CPU is on 50-60%, you know? So I'm guessing... I'm guessing it's helping a lot, the video card, you know? So I only had success with this system, apparently, with this 1660. So I'm gonna put in the future this system, this computer, this CPU on its knees. Even though I have a lot of... Um, uh, six gen CPUs that I need to test in the near future, I will still want to butcher the CPU with a better video card. So, uh, but at this point, at this point, it only been flawless, seriously. Aside from GTA 5, that was like, what the heck is going on? Since a couple of years, it's still doing the same thing. I go in settings, I'm gonna see how it's uh, set up, you know? So, we have custom, we don't want custom, we want basic, actually. Um, video memory scale 85, we can take that. And uh, yeah, on, we are on 1080p, I think, 1080p, dynamic resolution of 60 FPS, you know, because that's the capture card that gives us the whole thing. So basic quality and uh, we're gonna go in Modern Warfare and have a little snappy game and see how it's running. What the f*** is going on, seriously? So CPU or the VRAM? Okay, so maybe it's doing something like preloading, but uh, the FPS is it's there, you know. Uh, I have no problems with the with the, uh, with the CPU. Apparently, 40-50% load on the CPU is doing the job. You know? Oh, f no, fam! What the f are you doing? Seriously, I'm actually surprised that the the, the game is running pretty nice. Oh, oh my god, the drops when it kills me. It's it's insane. Okay, let's try um uh this is not okay. This is this is not okay. Let's try uh minimal. I'm gonna go on minimal and maybe we can have to do some adjustments here. Enemy UAV but uh there is some spikes and it's pissing me off. Nothing. Third kill, yes. Okay, so on minimal, apparently, I'm okay, but I need to do some adjustments, like on render scale or something. I have to make it on custom, lower the details. Woo! Percent, more like a 900p, you know? So, let's see how we are going to get this. We, got, uh, we want the FPS, but we don't want any spikes. So. Wow! From the back, actually. Don't want the spikes, you know, when he's killing me, somebody. Oh, something like this. That was sticker, boy. <laughs> it works. It's still good. I can still do the job with it and uh, I can't wait to put more GPUs on this platform so I can see how the new games are updated, you know, that's it, if, if, if more GPUs, <laughs> and that's it, it's, you know, talking more GPUs, yeah, they did a really nice job, seriously, I'm not gonna, what do you think?